Hey y'all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, this is going to start being a monthly series on my channel. I want to check in with you at the end of each month and let you know how I am doing on my low buy. So this is my very first year doing a low buy and it's difficult. It's more difficult kind of than I thought it would be, but we're going to get into all that. I want to let you know throughout the month which items I did purchase in the realms of skincare, hair care, makeup, and clothing, items that I wanted to buy but somehow refrained, old items that I've been loving in my collection all over again, stuff I got rid of, and also stuff that's been bringing me joy in general. This might not even be makeup, skincare, hair care, clothing. This might just be stuff that I've re-appreciated throughout the month. And then I wanna to touch on a few other things at the end. So let's jump right into it. First, let's talk about the stuff that I did purchase this month. So the very first item I purchased was this. This is the Super Goop Play Everyday Lotion Sunscreen. So I had talked to you all about this, how last year I was looking for a new sunscreen because I had heard that Super Goop was no longer cruelty free and that really upset me because I love Super Goop products. They work really, really well for me and I do wear sunscreen every single day even though nine times out of 10, I'm just sitting at my desk working from home, but I do use it every single day. And I had tried a new sunscreen. I tried the pharmacy sunscreen and I hated it. Hated it. Hated it. It just didn't work for me. It pilled up on my skin. It didn't feel good. I just really didn't like it. So the more I looked into Supergoop, the more I realized that there was like one blog saying they were no longer cruelty free, but they are still Leaping Bunny certified. So I went back to my old favorite. I got a nice big fatty fat fat tube of this. This was $32. Don't regret it for a second. The final item I did purchase, and I'm putting this in the clothing category, are these freaking amazing earrings. I am so incredibly obsessed with these. I can't even freaking tell you. So these are by a seller that I found on Instagram. Her name is Tinker Toy Tomorrow. I'm gonna put the link for everything right in the description box, but these are chain mail at the top and I think that is so cool and she put these out for David Bowie's birthday. I love me some Bowie, love me some Bowie. These were $30 which I think is so incredibly reasonable and I'm, I'm freaking obsessed. I really, really am. Also, I just realized when I put my arms up like this, glad I decided to shave today. Let's jump into the items that I wanted to buy but didn't. So several new makeup items came out this month or in recent months that I really wanted. Some of these have been on my list for a while and other ones just appeared on my list in January. So the first thing I wanna talk about, forgive me as I'm looking at my list, is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Skin Tint. As soon as she started teasing this, my will to buy went way up. So when I see the phrase tinted moisturizer, skin tint, anything like that, anything that is light coverage, immediately I get this urge to buy it. I really do because I love a light coverage foundation. I love a tinted moisturizer. I prefer that highly over a heavy or full coverage or even a medium coverage to be honest. And I didn't even know why I wanted it really. I think it literally was just the phrase like skin tint. And I started looking at it and I was like, you know what, hold off on it. Put this on your list, watch a bunch of reviews. And if people are talking amazingly about it, then it can stay on your list. Well, aren't I glad that I didn't buy it after seeing all those reviews? The reviews were not great. The reviews of that and her concealer, not good at all. So technically I saved myself $34 there. The other thing that came on my list that is sort of similar to that is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation, which retails for $44. I put that on my list the second that they started teasing it because the idea just sounded lovely and the model's pictures were very beautiful. But again, this is one where I was like, you know what, Linda, hold off. Put it on your list. I have plenty of foundations. Put it on your list and watch a bunch of reviews. Do a bunch of research into it. And I did watch a bunch of reviews and it is still on my list, but the urge to buy it is not as strong. So in my low buy video, I talked about how I wanted to put things on a list, like a wish list, so that I could really, really think about them. And then if I wanted them in a few weeks, if I wanted them in a few months, then I could buy it. That's why I'm on a low buy and not a no buy. But the longer it has sat on my list, the longer I'm like, I probably don't need that. I have plenty of foundations. I have skin tints. I have tinted moisturizers. I have medium coverage. I have all these beautiful foundations that I really enjoy. Why don't I use those up first and then move on to something new? I haven't used up a foundation in 
a very, very long time. So I think it's time to use those up before moving on to another one. The next item, okay, this has technically been on my list for a few months and it's still sitting on my list, but it's probably going to come off. That is the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. So this has several different shades of blush and highlighter and eyeshadows and it's just so beautiful. I've seen it in Sephora and I swatched it and the quality is absolutely freaking stunning, stunning, stunning. The reason that I have not purchased it just yet is because when I look at my collection, so I did put it on my list and I let it sit there for a while. And when I look at my collection, I have several palettes that are similar in style, meaning that they have maybe a blush, a highlighter, eyeshadows, a bronzer, a contour, whatever, but it's all in the same palette. I don't reach for those as often. I really don't. I mean, I like them. I really do. I think the quality is wonderful, but I really prefer to have an eyeshadow palette and then a separate blush and then a separate highlighter. And I don't know why, because it makes a lot more sense to want it all in one palette, right? But again, when I was able to take a step back and really look at my collection and really look at the items that I was using often, those all-in-one combination face palettes they're not getting as much use as they need to. So I don't know why in my brain I'm like, but, but this palette, this palette will be different. And maybe it would be, maybe it would become my all time favorite palette of all the worlds, of all the face palettes of all the times. But I just think that it's something I need to take pause on and maybe I'll get it when it goes on sale. Maybe I'll get it when we have the VIB sale if I still really want it. But as of right now, I'm gonna pass on it and that retails for $59. All right, so these next two items, <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, let's talk about the makeup item first. So on January 1st, we are talking the very first day, the first official day into my low buy, I decided to go to the mall just to walk around. I am not somebody who, when I go to the mall, I need to buy something and I walk out with bags. I'd say like 99% of the time I walk out with nothing. I'm just somebody, I really like window shopping. I like browsing, I like seeing what's out there. So I was walking around Nordstrom and I walked up to the Charlotte Tilbury counter and for the first time, even though it had been out since October, I saw the Smoky Eyes Are Forever palette. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play with it. I'm just gonna play. And I took and I was doing swatches and I fell in love, in lust with it. The quality was so buttery. It was so creamy. It was so beautiful. And I looked at it and I was like, you know what, Linda? Today's the first day of your low buy. I'm gonna leave these swatches on my arm and I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna dupe this palette. And I was so excited to go home and do my very first actual dupe and I had trouble duping it. I had trouble duping the special colors in there, like there were specific colors that my eye was so drawn to and those were the colors I was having trouble duping. But I was having such a hard time mentally because in my head I'm like, this is my first low buy. I am one day into it. I can't buy this. I cannot spend $75 on a palette on the first day of my low buy. I have to keep trying to, you know, get past it. I put it on my wish list and I kept thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it and I couldn't get it off my head. So then I started obsessively watching video reviews on it, hoping that someone would talk about how terrible it was, how the quality was awful, how it faded, how boring it was and nobody did. Everyone was talking about how amazing it was and I was just, I was stressed. I was stressed over an eyeshadow palette, which is so dumb. It's so dumb when you think about it, but it was something that was really sitting on my brain and I was like, you know what? I think this is gonna be the one thing that I buy this month. I'm gonna let myself buy this this month on my low buy. And then, okay, I was talking with a friend about it. So it's another friend who's into makeup, who really enjoys makeup. And I was talking to them about this palette and you know how much I, I really wanted it, but I was really struggling with the idea of buying it or not. And then this arrived in the mail for me. <laughs> my friend gave me this as a gift and I am so incredibly touched. I'm not gonna lie, I cried. Yes, I am somebody who cries at commercials and every cartoon that has ever existed, but I cried <laughs> when I received this because it is such a sweet, kind, generous gift this friend knew how much I wanted this and it just, it just means a whole lot to me. So this is the palette, which it's so funny because on camera, every time I've seen it in a review, it looks like nothing, but these colors are so beautiful. This is what I have on my eyes today. Let me just get a few of these um, colors up for you in a swatch. Like, 
Do you see the shine on that? Like just incredible. They are so metallic. I did do one matte over here just to show you how creamy and pigmented it is, but the shine is so incredible. These are so metallic and they are so creamy and buttery that you need one swipe to get full opacity. I would not have regretted it for a second if I had actually purchased this and spent my money. I love this. I'm looking at like every monitor, every mirror I have because they're just so beautiful. And honestly, this green, the one that I'm wearing today, the one that's over here, that's the one that I was shocked I couldn't do. I swiped every metallic olive green I had and nothing was the same. Of course, I have ones that are similar, but nothing was this color, this darkened, oh, sexy green. It's so beautiful. I really love it. Again, that's what I used on my eyes today and I'm so thankful to have it. And the very last item that I wanted to buy but didn't is one that I am kicking myself for not buying. So I found a pair of shoes I really, really, really wanted. And that is the Jeffrey Campbell Harley. So I'm gonna put a picture of them right up here so you can see them. This is totally my style. We've got a chunky heel. We've got a platform. Jeffrey Campbell and I, we have had good love together. We really have. I enjoy Jeffrey Campbell shoes greatly. Now the price point on these is high. These are close to $300, I'm not gonna lie. And yes, I know that there's probably ones that are similar that you can find cheaper, but this boot just checked off all the boxes for me. The quality, I know again that I have good luck with Jeffrey Campbell and I love the moto style stitching right over the top of the foot. Everything about it was beautiful. They had only two sizes left, my size and one that was way too big. And I was sitting on it and sitting on it and I had it on my list. I was looking at it every day online and I was looking at my shoe collection and going, I can get rid of these four pairs of shoes to make way for this one pair of shoe I really, really love. And it sold out. I am so disappointed and I'm searching all the resale sites at this point. I'm searching eBay, Mercari, Depop, Poshmark, all of them to try to find these shoes now. And if I find them, I probably buy them. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really, really disappointed in that one. But I do wanna let you know, I added it all up. If I had purchased everything I wanted to purchase this month, I would have spent close to $500. $500 and all of those, except for the shoes, I will say the shoes were an exception. All of those were things that I would have just, yep, buy it, yep, buy it, yep, buy it. I wouldn't have really thought much about it. I would have just purchased it if this was maybe a month ago or like a month and a half ago, except for, again, except for those shoes, I know I would have sat on that purchase, but that's kind of fascinating to me that I would have spent that much money without thinking about it, without really putting thought into what's already in my collection. So. I'm really proud of myself, I have to be honest. Like I purchased one makeup item and it's not even makeup. This is like a daily skincare. This is like vitamins for me. This is something I need to feel healthy every day. So patting myself on the back. Now, will February be drastically different? It could be. I could spend $2,000 in February for all I know, but for my very first month, I'm pretty damn proud of that. Now I wanna chat about some products that are already in my collection or some skincare things that are already in my collection that I've kind of re-fallen in love with or just fallen in love with in general. So the first things I want to chat about are in my project pan. I'll link that video right up here if you haven't seen it, but there are a bunch of items that I'm trying to either use up completely, maybe use up halfway before the end of the year. And one of those is the Natasha Denona bronze palette. So I know I keep talking about this, I understand, but this palette, I've just re-fallen completely in love with it. I bought it and I loved it when I bought it and I used it a bunch and then it just kind of sat in the back of my drawer and I didn't understand why because I really, really love this palette. The metallics are so stunning. The mattes are so, so, so creamy. They make my eyes look crazy blue and I've just completely re-fallen in love with it. I love this color story. I love Natasha Denona quality. I really, really do and just this is my jam, <laughs> this is my jam. And it's funny because there are certain colors in here, I'm not gonna lie, that I don't really touch. Like this color here, rhodium, which is actually a duochrome, I believe, but it's kind of this like purpley color. I don't use that really. And it's because it doesn't fit to me, right? Like everything is so warm toned, so bronzy. And then you've got like this purpley dark color. I also don't use this color that I know a lot of people would, and it's called Bliss, and it is pink with significant gold sparkle. I don't really wear many pinks or purples in general, so those two kind of sit unused, but the rest of these, 
I've been getting so much use out of this palette. I hate how many fingerprints you can see all over it. It's like, meow. Something else that is in my project pan is the Auric Glow Lust. So when I bought this last year, I fell in love with it so much and I used it every once in a while, but I had sort of stopped using it. And when I decided to put it in my project pan, I was reinvigorated with my love for this. So I think the reason I stopped using it is because this was not cheap. And I was like, you know what? I need to be, use it sparingly, use it sparingly. Why? If you love something, use it. Like don't let that beautiful item of clothing sit in the back of your closet. Don't leave this makeup sitting on the shelf when makeup has an expiration date. Use the things that you love. That's what I'm really trying to get better at. And this is one of those things I really want to get about halfway done. And actually, do you see, do you see that little spot there? I think I'm, I'm getting through this pretty quickly. Like I might be able to use this whole bottle by the time the year's over. We shall see. Another palette that I have re-fallen in love with is the Melt Mary Jane palette. And it's so funny because at the end of 2021, a lot of YouTubers will do these lists, including myself, where they rank a bunch of palettes or they'll talk about the worst palettes of the year, the best palettes of the year. This wound up on several people's worst palettes of the year list. And I will not understand why for the life of me because I love this palette. Some of the, the uh, sparkles are a little harder to work with. You just have to have more patience. But I really think that this palette is bomb. Like the colors are like, I barely touched that. And it's just so metallic and lovely. And oh gosh, look at that. Look at the shine. That's from one swipe in the pan. I just, it's so beautiful. It really is. And I feel like this palette got so much hate, but I really love it. And I've been re-loving this palette so, so much. Something else I've been loving all over again are my ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. I got so into these for a little bit and I decluttered most of them because I wasn't using them. But since I've been trying to use as many products as possible within my collection, I broke back into these and I love them. These are so fantastic for when I don't feel like doing a whole lot of makeup. Like maybe I'm just on Zoom calls all day and I feel like just swiping something across my lid and being done with it. These are perfect for that. So the ones I have been using the most are the ones from the ColourPop and Bra Beauty Christie collection, which unfortunately has been discontinued. But this formula is so lovely that I have to admit, I kind of want more. And these might be something that I purchase next month. And the last item that I've been loving, I don't know if I can call this an old item because I only just got this for Christmas, but I finally got a face steamer. So this has actually a little mirror on it and you lift it up and the steam comes out of here. Oh, hi. Hello, what's up? It's creepy. But I've really, really been liking this. I really feel like it's been upping my skincare game, but it's also kind of been upping my self-care game. So I will even just sit in front of the TV. I'll sit on the floor in front of my coffee table and just plop this there, and I will just let my face steam for a long, long time, and it feels so luxurious. Plus, this was a really, really inexpensive one. I know that they have some really bougie ones, and maybe the quality is higher, but I think this is fan freaking tastic I really really love it also I am somebody who personally I have asthma and sometimes if my asthma is acting up the steam really helps because it will open up my lungs a little bit so this is like dual purpose for me it's I, I love I love we love we stand so I do know this video is a longer one, but these are going to be, like I said, wrap ups of my whole month. So I also do want to mention a few things that I got rid of, because I think that's also sort of part of my low buy is going through things that I have, no matter what they are, whatever they are in my house, and just getting rid of the things that are no longer bringing me use or bringing me joy. So one thing I got rid of is camera lighting. So I have you know, studio lighting in here, but I replaced it probably about a year and a half ago. And all the other stuff was just sitting in my basement, taking up so much space. It was taking up so much space, but I was like, what if I need it someday? I didn't. So what I wound up doing is I wound up putting it on my local buy nothing Facebook group and a local like a uh, college student photographer was like, oh my God, I'm just starting out and this is amazing, blah, blah, blah. And she picked it up and I was so, so happy to be able to give that away. Like I would have been happy to give it away no matter who took it. But the fact that it was a college student photographer made me super happy and it just, it brought me joy all over again to be able to give it away. And this last item that I got rid of, this is going to surprise so many of you. It might even piss some of you off. I'm not gonna lie, um, but 
I hope you're able to see my side of this. I wound up selling my Dyson Airwrap. <gasps> Pause for reaction. The reason I did this is because when I got my hair cut into like a shaggy cut last year, I tried so many times to use my air wrap on it because when my hair was all one length, I loved it so much. It gave me these big voluminous curls that were just so uh, sexy and just big. I keep saying big, but they were, they were gorgeous and shiny. And when I tried it on this hair, it just wasn't vibing with the cut, no matter what I did. It would give me these like Shirley Temple curls or it just, it just didn't look good. It wasn't giving me like this big 80s hair that I wanted. And I realized I was using it and using it and it wasn't bringing me joy anymore. It wasn't. And I kept looking at this $600 tool sitting on my floor that wasn't getting any use. So I sold it. I did. <laughs> and I feel great that I did. So if I decide to grow my hair out again someday, then you know what? I'll buy another one. I'll save up and I'll buy another one. But for now, it was not serving any purpose in my life and it was serving somebody else purpose. So I was so happy to be able to sell that. And I'm not going to lie, like it's kind of nice that I was able to get some good money for it that is now sitting in my vacation fund. As far as other random things that have been bringing me joy right now, um, I have been enjoying on Netflix. I watched the new Cobra Kai season. I watched the new season of Queer Eye and we actually went back and watched all five previous seasons of Queer Eye, which I've been it just makes me so damn happy. Like it's just a happy show. And we've started Ozark, like the newest season. We're not all the way through it, um, but I just, I don't know. They've been bringing me joy because I love having a show to binge. It makes me really happy, oddly. Like it's something I look forward to at the end of each workday. So those have been bringing me joy. If you have any TV shows that you'd recommend, comment with them down below because I could always use some new ones. Also, I've really gotten back into reading again. I have read seven, eight books this month, eight. And the last time I read eight books in even the span of a year was probably when I was in my teens. So I'm like ferociously reading now and I love it. So I think my favorites that I read, and none of these are new books, but I read Where the Crawdads Sing, my heart, loved it, hated the end, loved the rest of it. And I also really loved, even though I thought it was a bit long, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. So if you're looking for some fiction books, highly recommend those too. Also, I decided to spend some of the money that I would have probably spent on makeup and I've been taking with my husband roller skating lessons. So every single week we are going and taking lessons and it's really basic stuff. It's like how to stop, how to do crossovers and how to go backwards and things like that. But I just am really, really enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. It's, I mean, it's a physical activity, so it's a little bit of a workout. And yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's something that just makes me really happy putting my money towards that instead of stuff. It's like an activity and it's something I'm doing with my husband, which is really cool. And finally, something making me super happy is that I have been saving up my Sephora points for a long time, a very long time, because what am I going to do? It, like, why would I spend like a hundred bucks to get a little sample something for 100 points? Like that, it seems so stupid to me. So I've been saving them up for God only knows what and I was able to secure one of the Rouge rewards. So I have a $100 Sephora gift card to spend. And as I mentioned in my low buy video, if I get gift cards, I can spend however I want. <laughs> I can spend however I want. And this one has an expiration date. So those have a pretty quick expiration date where I think I need to use it by mid April. So there definitely is gonna be a Sephora, maybe a haul at some point in the near future. And then a few other quick things to touch on. Um, I do want to first mention some uh, sadder news, I guess you'd say. So um, a lot of you have probably seen either on Instagram or on here, my cat Spooky. She's the love of my life. Uh, she's 18 and a half, probably a little bit more than that. She's going to be 19 in July. And she's been having some health issues lately. And we took her to the vet uh, beginning of January, things, you know, we, just to get her blood work done again, and there was some weird stuff, and we found out that she has a, she has a very large tumor in her bladder that, um, is not blocking her bladder in any way, but she, she has a very large tumor in her bladder, and So one thing that I kind of always promised my girl is that like, I'm not going to put her through 
a whole lot of crap. You know what I mean? She's 18 and a half and I'm not basically like writing this off as like, oh, okay, well, that's it <laughs> then. It's nothing like that. But I don't want to put her through surgery at 18 and a half. I don't want to put her through chemo at 18 and a half. I don't want to do that to her. So at this point, we're really just spending a lot of time with her. She's getting so many treats, as many treats as she could ever want. She has the heated blanket all day. I don't care what my electric bill looks like. Like this girl is just going to get pampered. So that's something that's really been on my mind. Um, and yes, so far things have been quite expensive with her and I don't care. I would spend three times the amount just to make sure she's happy and comfortable. So at this point, we're keeping her comfortable. Um, it could be months. It could be not. So yeah. Sorry to kind of bring things down there, but I just kind of wanted to to mention that as something that has been big on my mind over the last month. Um, also, the other big thing, and then I'll probably leave it here, which is another good reason I didn't spend a whole bunch of money this month. Um, we are getting our roof replaced on the house. And any of you who are homeowners, and even if you're not, you probably know a roof is fucking expensive. So that is taking up so much of my funds, but I just kind of wanted to throw that out there as something else big in my life right now. So that is it. I hope, um, I don't want to end things on a sad note. Please know that overall, like things, things are good. Things are good. And I'm really proud of myself on how I did this first month of my very first low buy. Uh, the fact that I only purchased one makeup item. I, I just, I'm really proud of that. I don't regret these earrings for a half, a split, a second, anything like that. If you are also on a low buy, tell me in the comments below how you've done this month. And even if you've done badly, that's fine because we are here to cheer you on. We are here to support you. We are here to lift you up because you are a queen, okay? That's it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe so you can check these videos out each month where I'm going to wrap up how I did throughout the month on my low buy. You all can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are all Glitter Fallout. And as always and forever, you are super freaking rock stars. I love you so, so much with my whole heart. Please know that also. And RIP to Bob Saget. He always told people at the end of every single conversation how much he loved them. And know that I genuinely mean it each time at the end of each video when I say how much I love you and I'm so appreciative for you. Please know that. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.